Hey guys, welcome to our review of Super Sentai Strongest Battle, Psycho Battle, Episode 2. As always, I'm your host, Frozen Stratos. Here with me today we have Distant Airblaze and Mako Toa. My dudes, welcome back. And Michael, welcome back from your long hiatus when you straight up left the call. You told me to leave. I did, but that was part of it. Anyway, guys, this is <laughs> freaking amazing. It was great. Yeah. It was psycho. What the heck? Where's Corey going? I don't know, but like I, I can I can take over for now. Yeah. Like the very beginning of it was kind of like a little like wonky because we had marvelous sulking out of his mind and. Um, Anyways, Nick guys, thanks for watching. <laughs> I <can't laughs> miss you. I heard. I thought I heard a knock. Oh. Uh, yeah. So. Marvelous being super moody and Ninja Red just being kind of like himself, except I didn't. I don't remember him being that big of a jokester in the original show, but he was sure trying oh, to be a character. Oh, Michael, stop showing us your butt. <laughs> Apparently that made him uh, smirk. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I like, the reason I was laughing as hard as I did was because like he's already like a dumb... like I didn't like him that much. And the fact that he like did something so stupid was just kind of... Yeah, it, he did it like this kind of like, yeah, charisma, you know. Like, I, like, my thing is, I didn't like him, but the fact that he's making a fool out of himself made me laugh. That was my thing about it. Yeah, um, I yeah, I don't know. I thought it was effective. Like, Yamato, it's weird. Though. Oh man, dude, Yamato, that though. like that. <laughs> Much like the scene where uh, we just got a good shot of of Rita's legs, this was like peak Sakamoto. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's yeah. that's one way to put it. I mean, uh, it's it's a, just another one of his hallmarks. For like, I, I don't know why he kept it from people. I guess it's like a really tragic thing, and you don't really want to bring it up too often. But yeah, like, yeah, the the reason why he was uh, yeah. what, what, his wish, yeah, and that fighting. that was really well done. I didn't expect the kid to be dead. I didn't either. Like, yeah. wow! I thought he was just still in the hospital and he was too sick to go, you know, to a, a zoo. Yeah, but, no. <laughs> and like, no, he's dead. And I, dead. I absolutely love how his his wish is so realistic i guess it's like well not realistic but like it's not bringing someone back to life permanently it's bringing them back in order to to it's let them the experience promise. something beautiful and that i think is like a reasonable wish yeah <laughs> <That's> like, <clears throat> and like it, it could so easily have been i want to bring him back to life yeah, no, but, but like, like the experience, like the wilderness, like that yeah. was like what he was fighting for the entire time, you know? Yeah. Like, <laughs> get the fuck off our planet. <laughs> <laughs> and like one thing that I really appreciated from this was like it built off of things that were, you know, set up in uh, uh, Joker really yes. well. Yes. Yeah. First off, they actually referenced their crossover, which I mean, it yes. was like in the series, so it's not like mm -hmm. it was like a separate crossover they referenced. And second, like, him just being in the hospital, like, his father's, like, a doctor. So, like, yeah, he's probably yeah, spent, yeah. like, a lot of, like, time there. So he's probably gotten to know a lot of people there. So it just kind of, it comes, like, directly from that show. Like, yeah, it did come out of nowhere. I was like, oh, there's going to hit us with a sob story out of nowhere. But they didn't spend too much time on it. It was, like, 15 seconds. And then we already had a strong, like, reason to care about the yeah. fight. And he just yeah. crushes those... It, it, nobody's <laughs> but like it, it didn't just bring us into the fight like that wasn't the only thing it's like then the music started yeah you brought, music was you, so like, loud yeah was, yeah yeah, yeah. good like you he knows exactly when to put the opening theme yeah. and it it worked it on all levels it worked yeah 
We yeah. went back and watched the whole uh, the whole fight over again after yeah. after we it, saw it the first time. It was so good that it killed Alex's computer. <laughs> <laughs> it must have been the monkey punch. <laughs> no, it was like right as he de like Yeah, you're just like Boop. your computer gave out this the moment that Yamato did. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was like it just like felt him on a personal level. Yeah, like. It also like showed off like everything that's cool about that form, which is the thing. Another thing that Sakamaru does like really well, you know, he just like yeah. knows like what we like about a certain thing. Yeah. The, and like even how if, fast even like if, he was flying. Holy yeah. shit! Yeah. And like even if it's not cool, he puts it in and like gives it a functional purpose. Like it, it we didn't really see that aspect in action here, but I just like. But when it it's like something that is actually cool, it's like brought up ten times. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, you, okay, we also have the reveal, quote unquote, you know, like of uh, who was under the mask. Yo, it's that Asian dude. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it took me a while because like uh, he didn't have the same glow on him. Like usually he's just kind of like super orange. Yeah, Not orange, but you know. But he's like a little bit paler, so I was like, I don't know. Hmm. He wasn't smiling, so I, for, at first I wasn't sure who it was. Yeah, I I just I'm I'm assuming that it's like the dull gold situation where the armor possesses the body. Could be. And that's about it. Yeah. I honestly like, thought it was going to be Luca. <laughs> well, like that's that's the thing too. Like if he confronted oh, yeah. Takaharu, and then. You know, the armor consumes Takaharu, and maybe just Luka's yeah. running around now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Naked. Why is that? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not expecting Guys, to... thanks for watching. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I think, like, that, like, in their first fight, he was fighting like Luka, and I'm not sure if we saw her in yeah, that fight did. scene. We did not. Yeah. Okay. I back to Jack. Did not. Um, so that's probably why, like, Marvelous is just as anal as he is, because mm -hmm. he probably like already knows. Yeah, but... that's that's another thing that I wanted to touch on, like the the perfect characterization of Captain Marvelous, and how he like he will if if the, if you're not part of his like main team, he will do his best not to be a team player, especially if cornered. You know, if like pushed into a corner like that. Um, and the team really just sort of gloms on to him and, and he sort of smiles about it and I love it. Um, he gave that same, um, sort of passive, like, uh, oh, I only did this to further my goals. Like, I only helped the, the Jewelers to, to further, get, or to he get the He says that a lot. Yeah, yeah he does. It's, and like, his go-to excuse. But like, it's, it, I mean, it's like. That mentality um, is not just ripped straight from the show. It's ripped straight from episode one where, like, they save a, a bunch of kids. And then he's like, I did it because of the curry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It, I thought it was perfect. Yeah. Even at the end of the series, he didn't save the world because he liked the people he did for the curry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I also like the, his conflict with uh, what's his face. I already forgot his name. So oh my god. You are red. Yamato, yeah. Okay. Where like Yamato kind of just like assumed that he was on his side. He's like, why aren't why aren't you acting like a team player? Just like didn't like, you know, try to understand his <laughs> situation. It's like, well duh, like of course he is. He has his own team. Like, why do you think he's not acting like this way? Like something yeah. definitely happening. <laughs> and then we had like the previous kind of like wild man, like Red Ranger. Wild his... man. <laughs> <laughs> but I can't think of any of like he dresses like it. Come on, I mean and, he was running like one. Yeah, Just, the Gal Gal Red. Ranger. Yeah, to be his like mentor, his like mentor yeah. for this thing. And so. it's it's funny because I I the only thing I know about him is comes from Gokaiger, and like I remember he was a vet. He eventually ended up being like a, a vet for for animals and stuff. So it's kind of like Yamato, where I mean like. Yamato more just observes animals, but his father's a, you know, he works at a hospital, so 
kind of like similar uh, medical. I field. honestly thought you were going to be like, well, yeah, Yamato um, is an injured animal at the end, so uh, he comes to help him <laughs> or something. Speaking of injured animals, Stinger was doing stuff this episode. He's kind of like stooping around. And he's like, that was stupid. That was kind of like the least useful thing I think this episode did. I mean, like, or for his character, I mean. Like, <laughs> he's just like, hmm, there's all these books about Sentai. But why would someone who's inviting all of the Sentai in this giant ass tournament want to read up on them? <laughs> <laughs> Why is the guardian of this planet need to know all about Sentai? Before inviting all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they I mean, need to check up on if they're good people or something. I don't know. Yeah. Do I mean, the, pre- <laughs> the preview already showed was it was sneaking up on him at this point. So yeah. I guess it's just to yeah. get Doggy Kruger into Yeah, so I mean, it's leading up to something that I'm going to enjoy quite a bit. So I'm not complaining. Yeah, it says the man with the fur con t shirt. Um, I, I I do kind of want to hop back to like Stinger because like it was so inconvenient what he was up to. Like they had another thing going on, and he yeah, just sort of Yamato left. just had to like fight by himself because everybody left the room. Yeah, like I I feel like he could have pulled it together with with Orange, you know, but like mm-hmm. he just left. Why not just wait? Not gonna lie, that just made it more fun when he beat all three of them down oh, just by himself. Yeah, 100%. Oh. like I honestly like this episode did so many unexpected things. Like I thought they would reconcile and then come back to help Yamato. And yeah, be- in the middle of the battle or something. Yeah, but they didn't. They Damn. subverted our expectations and gave us this full-on Yamato like oh. falls to the wall like. That was just so massacre. Um, yeah. And then the the moment where he, like, grabs uh, 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 Marvelous's shoulder. And, like, you're like, oh, no. What's he going to do? Like, I I didn't know. But then yeah. he, yeah. like, bows. He does the bow, yeah. Everything about Yamato in this is just... Wonderful. It's so good. And, like, mm-hmm. I don't... You rarely get another story arc with a past character that's this good, that's this well done, and this in depth. And like yeah. he's he's still learning how to be a leader, which is cool. Yeah, he's definitely like one of the best like Red Rangers. And I think like kind of like knew that, and that's kind of like why he was like yeah, picked he got the, the he got the development time. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. You can, you can like carry a team pretty well. <laughs> like, I mean, we had like some pretty, we had some stinkers in the last couple <laughs> ones. So, <laughs> <laughs> kind of makes them look a lot better. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, did you guys have anything else you wanted to say about this episode? No. Cool. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Um, and if you are so inclined, we have a watch along that went up at the same. Time as this so you can go ahead check that out download the overtime subs and watch it along with us um and also if you like soto yudo or shoto i have a brand new podcast on youtube called this soto pop podcast so if you want to check that out the links to that will be in the description and at the end of this video guys thanks for watching keep it juicy see you later cool <laughs> We're done now. Everything's out of order. And <laughs> now I need to sift through everything to like piece it together. Uh, well, you can like text me at work and bitch about it because.